Hey there Capricorn, welcome to this general timeless reading. Take a deep breath in with me. Exhale. We are cleansing and protecting this space. We're going to get you a solid reading. Whatever you need to know, see, and understand at this time. Spirit, what is the message that we need to deliver to our beautiful, hardworking Capricorn? Why did I say hardworking? Why did I say hardworking? You got the Ten of Wands. You need to stop working so hard. You need to stop working so hard. You deserve to have fun. You deserve to play. You deserve to play. You deserve to like do other stuff that isn't just working. You've been working too many hours. You got too many things going on. There is way too much stress in your life right now. This could even lead you to health problems. Like stress is a killer. Okay, stress is no good for you. You should not be living in this much stress. It is aging you quicker than you need to be aging, honey. Look at see what's on the bottom. We have a wise woman and a youthful child. This is new. So I love this Ace of Pentacles because it literally says a windfall of abundance on it. So it's always a good thing to get a card that says a windfall of abundance because that means a lot, right? Like I love finding pennies, like finding pennies, finding quarters, um, but a windfall of abundance. One, four, three, I love you. That's a lot. Oh, that's sweet. You're touching my heart. Don't give me a sappy message for the Capricorn people. They're not going to want it. Although deep down you freaking want it. So you better melt that hard exterior because there's a loving energy coming through. And maybe it's just because I'm a triple Pisces, but I don't care. Whatever. You better get over it. Okay. So I think somebody wants to help you. I think you have loved ones, like plural loved ones that would be willing to help you, but they don't know. You know, if people don't know that you need help, they can't help you. So this is really asking for you to ask for help. <laughs> okay, we have transformation. This is the tower here, okay? This represents, well, honestly, with the ten, 10 of wands, uh, you could be having a breakdown. You could be having a breakdown if you don't stop working so much. There could be something... You know, I can't lie to you, something really unexpected and unwanted that comes. Like, you are running out of time to take a break. Like, God, the universe will deliver you the money. And if you keep working so hard because you need it to feel worthy or you need it to feel like, you know, you're doing something important or just not procrastinating, then that is not the way. And you need to get right with God, honey. You don't need to be working so hard just to prove that you are valuable. And if you have a belief that you need to work hard to make money, then that's just a belief that needs to change. This transformation card even says releasing old belief systems, breaking free of procrastination, powerful and often unexpected revelations. This is about a significant life experience that's going to change your day to day. Tens are all about endings. Something 333 is coming to an end and we have the three of wands at the bottom. Threes are all about creativity, expansion. It associates with the empress who is about abundance and creativity. With all this fiery energy here, like you could be turning some pain into profits. Like you could be turning your stress into profit. Like maybe it's because we are in Leo season, but I am noticing like myself and lots of other creators are like making essentially video diaries, uh, posting their vulnerability, expressing themselves in these new ways and ways that they didn't think that they would be comfortable expressing and people are relating. So if you're going through something or you have a belief system and you think that you're the only one or you think that you are alone, like you are wrong. There are so many people on this planet. You are not the only one that feels the way that you feel. And this is asking you to step outside of your comfort zone and find other people to connect with. Like if it's that you have bipolar disorder, great, so be it. Let's connect with other people that you can relate to instead of trying to force yourself to be, you know, atypical. Like, it's just not the same. So don't try and force yourself to fit in where you just don't belong anymore. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy. It just means that there's somewhere else that's a lot better for you. 
very interesting with transformation we have renewal another major arcana so yeah this is this could be about you moving homes moving jobs you are going to be in this state of reviewing your past with compassion and forgiveness so you are going to be letting go this ten of wands could be all the emotional baggage the healing and the trauma that you have been working through that you have been carrying you may be experiencing headaches or tmj but those are going to end um you should start massaging your head every day massage your head every day it will help loosen things up and it will help you with your tmj but also relieving the stress is what's going to help you the most with whatever it is that you got going on okay this renewal card is telling you to head in a new direction you will be receiving clarity on your life's purpose can you give me a little bit of clarity they'll be receiving clarity but i'd like to give them a little bit of clarity look at the bottom of the deck we have the judgment this renewal card in this deck is judgment you're getting a second chance at life you're getting a second chance at life. It does not matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you are divorced. Some of you are now a widow or a widower. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's over for you. Life, if you are still, you got your feet on the ground and you got your eyes on this video, you have a purpose. You're not a waste of space. You're not a waste of air. Like You have wisdom. You have a story to tell. You have things to share. The Ten of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Wands. I mean, how do you explain that? How do you explain that? So your advice and clarification on the Ten of Wands is to stop caring so much. I don't know if you think that you have to be the savior or the martyr or if I don't do it, nobody else will do it. They will do it. They'll catch up. They will do it. And if you stop working so hard, like, yeah, maybe it will dip a little bit, but eventually they will catch up. They will catch up. People people may just be relying on you because you've showed them how much of a hard worker you are. You've showed them how capable you are. And so they've just grown accustomed to, oh, no big deal. They've got it. They're going to take care of it. But nobody knows how much you're carrying. And this, if this is emotional burdens that you're carrying, this could be you talking to a therapist. Give me more information on this. The Four of Wands. This has to do with your home. We have the Emperor. Lots of Aries energy. We have a Divine Masculine at the bottom of the deck. This could be about a husband, a Divine Partner, a Divine Counterpart. If you're waiting for somebody to come in and rescue you, that's not going to happen. But you do have a partner, if you are single, that is waiting for you. Definitely, if you are waiting on somebody specific and it has been like a prolonged amount of time, uh, God wants you to let go of this person. This could be, for some of you, the emotional baggage that you've been carrying. If you've been in a cycle with somebody and you've been in no contact with somebody and it's just been like over eight months, it's time for you to let this person go because the universe is trying to give you what you want but if you keep trying to get what you want from a person that can't give it to you, you're prolonging your own destiny. So then this next emperor that the universe is trying to link you up with, like eventually they're going to get tired of waiting too. And the universe is going to link them up with somebody who is ready. So you better be ready. So if you happen to be holding on to a love from the past, this is definitely talking about letting it go. There are also burdens in your family, burdens in your home. You could be the, uh, the karma breaker in your bloodline. The six of swords. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving on. You are protected. I'm hearing the promised land. Destiny, nine of cups and the wheel of fortune it is your destiny to move on look at in the in the background that's the promised land that's where you belong they are moving away from from wreckage and rubble and just a life that is no longer fulfilling a life that is exhausting are you sick and tired of being sick and tired it is time to go it is time to move it is time to change this could be you getting a new car you might want to add 
if you're not allergic, I don't know if anyone's allergic to cherries, but cherries or cherry juice could benefit you. The sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is joy, happiness, optimism. And look, there's a rainbow here. So it's like when you get in your boat, get in your car and you go, look where you arrive. You are fulfilled. You are safe. But you have to make the choice. You got to get in the boat. Who is going to come and force you to get into a boat? You know, God can give you all the signs in the world. But if you don't follow the signs and if you don't follow your heart and follow your bliss, follow your bliss. If you don't follow your bliss, that's from Will and Grace. Oh, then you're not going to arrive at the promised land. But you can do this. You can definitely do this. You've been carrying a lot and it's no longer for you to carry. It's not your job to carry it anymore, okay? This is the energy I have surrounding you at this time. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you lots of love and healing energy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Every single interaction really helps my channel grow. And check out the description below if you want to book a reading or purchase some of my merchandise like this sweet hat right here and all the other random things that I might have going on right now. But have a good freaking day. Bye!